Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on to March 19th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at world weather, the space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, everything that is affecting humanity. And we're starting out here looking at the sun, 304 angstroms, very large plasma filament that ripped away and fell back into the sun. Looking here the last 48 hours incoming Whap, huge filament, amazing. We also have another sunspot that is incoming. Outgoing images here showing another plasma filament opposite side of this large one here. One sunspot, or sorry, two sunspots earth facing and as well coronal hole. Active plasma filaments there. And yeah, that coronal hole almost st stretched to the equator and it is still a very active and excitable coronal hole so I'm sure that we're going to see some very erratic solar winds incoming this weekend looking here at that small fiery region that is getting ready to crest around the sun KP index remains low at a two elevated level for tomorrow. And you can see already the solar winds are starting to increase, but at the same time as the density, the density jumped right up to 38 there, almost 47. Looking here at Alaska 2, no real space weather incoming from our sun looking here at the geospace magnetosphere and watch for that to drastically change over the next 36 hours looking here at the schumann resonance for today a power of nine still a pretty low quality amplitude of nine quality of a 7.9 now have a look here at the last 24 hours for earthquakes as yet it's still pretty busy for a 24 hour period looking at 350 earthquakes usgs starting out here most recent santa cruz virgin islands 3.3 as well 3.6 now 3.5 central america seeing the increase in earthquakes 4.1 there in nicaragua as well el salvador 4.4 4.5 there, Guatemala, 10 kilometer depth, and as well, San Mandero, Mandero, Mexico, White City, New Mexico, as well as Malaga. That's a fracking, very large fracking operation going on there. Julian, California, 3.1, as well, 2.8 there, Pinnacle, and as well, Alone Pine, California, 2.5. Lake Pillsbury, 2.9, California, and as well, 2.6, Wyoming, just west of Yellowstone. 4.6 here reported at Sandpoint, Alaska. This was yesterday. Seeing the increased aftershocks here through Kamchatka, Starry, Russia, 4.4 there today. As well, 4.6 here in Miyako, Japan, 45 kilometer depth, just south of Fukushima. And our largest earthquake today, 5.7 in Nagu, Japan, or sorry, Nagu, China, as well, reporting a 4.4 there in China. 
4.7 and 4.5 here reported Indonesia. Guam and the Mariana Islands, 4.6 there. And Papua New Guinea is a poppin today. 4.6 there. And then moving eastward, 4.8, 5.0, 5.5, and as well a 4.9 here, Vanuatu. Increasing earthquakes through northern New Zealand, 186 kilometer depth. 5.6 5.6 there reported just north of New Zealand. As well, Kermadec Islands still seeing some aftershocks there. 4.9 and a 5.1. Overlooking Hawaii, still seeing minor earthquakes today. They seem to be increasing over the past 30 days. Small earthquake here, South Shetland Islands, 4.6, Scotia Plate. As well, South America here. Antofagasta, Chile, 4.6, and as well, 4.5. Small aftershock reported here, 3.9, Algeria. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes, according to USGS and Walton Earthquake 3D. And this is the last seven days for earthquakes. Still seeing a lot of deep earthquakes on every continent. And quiet through North America, it seems. Seeing more activity recently throughout California. Small swarming through the Salton Sea. Overlooking Eurasia. And up into Iceland. Speaking of Iceland, have you seen the video yet? Please check it out. That Iceland, Krisvuk has erupted. Looking here, the most recent volcanoes to be updated, Sabankaya in Peru, Krisvik in Iceland, as well as San Cristobal, Nicaragua, Sinabung, Indonesia, Reventador in Ecuador, Pacaya in Guatemala, Ebico in Russia, Tacono, Indonesia, Nevados de Rules in Chile. Like, wow, it, the list goes on and on here. Era in Japan, Etna in Italy, Fuego, Guatemala, Benimiana of United States, Aleutian Islands, as well as Sangay in Ecuador, Swiss and Najima, Japan, Ibu, Indonesia, Merapi, Pacaya, the list goes on and on. We are sitting at 55 volcanoes erupting and active around the planet right now. No cyclones, no tropical systems to talk about. We do have some intense fires that are breaking out across Myanmar and parts of Laos. Increased earthquakes through China. Flooding conditions continue through southeastern United States. Both Alabama, South Carolina, and North Carolina, all up the coast there. As that major system made quite an impact on the United States, thoughts and prayers to everybody affected. And I want to give a shout out right now to Kimberly from Calgary. I ran into her today at McDonald's. Small World started chatting, started talking about my channel. Says she's been subscribed for about a month. So big shout out to you, Kimberly. Thanks for checking in, staying aware and prepared with Morning Dew. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Media Earth, Media Mike. Starting out here in Calgary, Alberta, home base. As yes, we're going to see these cold temperatures move in later in the week. Just ahead of one more warm front as that low pressure system comes in. But watch for this high pressure to come in from Nunavut. Minus 33 degrees Celsius in some areas, but already in the five day forecast showing minus 19 to minus 20 parts of northern uh, northern BC and Alberta. And that is just behind that pretty powerful low pressure system. It's going to split into two here into Alberta in the long range forecast. So that's our big storm here for the end of March. Winter in like a lamb, out like a lion. Some pretty big systems developing. Even through the United States as well, Colorado low developing this week. 
and we'll be moving up into Ontario. It's going to bring quite a bit of wet weather. And then watch as all along the line of that low pressure system and then yet another low pressure system coming out of the Gulf. Some very interesting situation developing across the the North America as we are entering the spring equinox and things are getting ready to shift dramatically, I'm sure. Long line of moisture here being brought all the way up into Greenland and then into Iceland. Big storm going to be affecting Iceland over the next little while. Thoughts and prayers to everybody in Iceland. I know already some people are getting pretty worried about the volcanoes on the islands. Overlooking Europe, high pressure ridge dominating most of Europe. Low pressure system here through the Mediterranean. It's going to bring some stormy conditions through the West Indies. And then these large cold lows across Russia and parts of Eastern Europe. Keeping winter well alive in parts of Russia. Some pretty intense systems will be coming through parts of Sweden and the border with Russia soon. Overlooking Africa, not much to talk about. No major systems except for later in the week. Could see some heavy rains through South Africa as a system moves through. And again, no cyclones or hurricanes to talk about just yet. High pressure ridge over China, keeping things dry there as well. Through Indonesia and into Malaysia, daily evaporation rains, no major systems affecting you. But then we get to Australia, and yes, you do have an extreme weather warning from pretty much Sunday, Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday, Central Australia down into southeastern and the whole coastline pretty much of the continent you will be affected by a major system here in this five-day forecast so thoughts and prayers to everybody who will be affected could see some flash flooding conditions and as well torrential downpours overlooking hawaii high pressure ridge just getting ready to move away in the next few days and then you'll get some spotty showers here as a low pressure system forms just north of you and who's to say where that system will go after that that's a pretty big one as well still watching these systems across the northern hemisphere southern hemisphere get bigger and stronger overlooking south america daily evaporation rains could be intense throughout the week through colombia and pretty much the whole northern part of South America. That big weather system has moved out of Argentina and will dissipate over the next couple days, but still seeing some hail and strong winds, torrential downpours. Gonna leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern and the major systems that will be affecting us in the five day forecast. I wanna thank you all for watching today. I really appreciate all of your viewerships. Please share this video with your friends and family as we are staying aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. Much love. God bless humanity. Bye bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.